Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the official YouTube channel of Antioch United Methodist Church. Good to have you here. This is my message for Super Bowl Sunday, February 11th, 2024. If you're ever anywhere near Springfield, Missouri, please join us in person. It is much better than online at 3614 North State Highway H in Springfield, Missouri, 65803. I promise you, you will be warmly welcomed and you will be inspired by the message and the music. Sunday, February 11th, again, is the big game day if you're a football fan. And... Many people are much bigger football fans than I am. I watched the playoffs game between the, the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. And for me, the most interesting part of the game last Sunday, February 4th, was when the Baltimore Ravens player, Zay Flowers, pushed down the Chiefs player, Sneed. And he was called for taunting. I didn't know that was a foul. To taunt someone. Later on in the game, Flowers had that ball. Just as he was about to score a touchdown for the Ravens, Sneed comes around and knocks the ball out of his hands. No touchdown. A great example of what goes around comes around. You reap what you sow, which is right there in the Bible. Galatians 6, verse 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked, for you reap whatever you sow. What you put out comes back to you. If you put somebody down, you get put down by somebody may not be the same somebody, but if you put someone down, somebody else is going to put you down. All those who exalt themselves will be humbled. If I say something that upsets my wife, if I'm smart, I will say, I'm sorry for what I said. And then I need to not say it again and again, not repeat my mistake. Am I right? And that works both ways for wives and husbands. Coming up, we're going to have Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the season of Lent, the season of getting right with God, doing some spring cleaning of our lives. Ash Wednesday is also Valentine's Day. We studied 1 Corinthians 13, the love chapter, last Wednesday evening. 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 and 5. Love is patient and kind. Are you? Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Are you rude? Love does not demand its own way. But do you? Do you demand your own way? I'm not getting what I want. It is not irritable. And it keeps no record of being wronged. Do you? How do you measure up? Do you keep a mental record of all the, the wrongs done to you by your spouse? If you do, you can't just use the excuse, well, I'm forgiven, so it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. You are forgiven by God if you confess your sins and believe in Jesus, but you will still reap what you sow. If we do something that is against God or hurts your spouse or hurts somebody else, we should confess it, apologize, repent, and not repeat it. If we don't, God still loves you, God forgives you, but eventually we're going to reap what we've sown. That's how it works. Now, in my last video on this channel, I said that God is patient with his people. It's true. 
God gets frustrated with us, but never runs out of patience for us, never rejects us. Thank God. The Apostle Paul even said that God has great patience with even the worst sinners. 1 Timothy 1.16. And that's all true. It's still true. But it's also true that you reap what you sow, no, no matter how patient God is. And what you give out comes to you. Luke chapter 6, verses 37 and 38. This is from Jesus. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be what? Forgiven. Give, and it will be what? Given to you. That's from Jesus. A good measure, he said, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure that you use, it will be measured to you. Now, what does that mean, poured into your lap? Well, pouring into your lap refers to a custom back then of some people wearing an apron or some, some outer garment and buying grain or seeds in the marketplace. And they would fold the bottom part of the apron or the garment up. They would, they would fold it up like this and have the seed or the grain poured right in here and, and carry the seed or the grain like this back home. So the grain of the seed is poured down, shaken together so that, that more can be poured in, running over. That means a whole lot. And again, that person would, would carry the grain or seed like this in their lap, so to speak, back home. Does that make sense? It's a metaphor. When you do good and give good, good is poured into your lap, so to speak. Good is poured into your life. When you do bad, that also comes back to you. 1 Corinthians 2, verses 5 through 8. The Apostle Paul said, Because of your stubbornness and your unrepentant heart, you are storing up not good stuff, but what? Wrath against yourself for the day of God's wrath, when his righteous judgment will be revealed. Get this. The Apostle Paul said this to Christians. Verse 6, God will repay each person according to what they have done. To those who, by persistence in doing good, seek glory and honor and immortality, God will give eternal life, the good stuff. But for those who are self-seeking, it's all about me. I'm not happy. I'm not getting what I want. Mm. Self-seeking and those who reject the truth and actually follow evil, there will be wrath and anger. So if someone lied to you, they're going to get it. If someone cheats you, mistreats you, they're going to get it. If someone said one thing to you and then did something else, they're going to get it. When someone lives as if there is no God, they're going to what? They're going to get it. When somebody doesn't show kindness, doesn't love their neighbor, hurts people, is abusive or neglectful, they're going to what? They're going to get it. Just make sure that someone isn't you. I still remember a man in a veteran's home during a Bible study telling all of us his story of being an atheist in the Korean War. He was there in the Korean War and there was an explosion where he was. And he felt his spirit leave his body. He looked down 
and floated and saw his body and the whole battlefield down below as he floated up, he said. He began to float towards this this dark realm, this living nightmare, and he felt dread and fear and anguish and pain. And a voice said here, call upon Jesus. Now he didn't believe, but the voice kept saying, call upon the Lord, call upon Jesus. And he did finally. And suddenly that dark nightmarish realm went away. And he began to float towards a heavenly realm with light and peace and joy. And he felt it in every fiber of his being. And he was told it wasn't his time. And obviously he came back into his body and lived to tell all of us his story. First Corinthians two verses nine through 11. There will be trouble and distress for every human being who does evil, but glory and honor and peace for everyone who what does good. I don't want trouble and the stress. How about you? No, sir. I want glory and honor and peace. What about you? Oh, yeah. Hell, no. Heaven, yeah. So keep doing good. Even when what goes around, comes around, doesn't happen in an instant. Keep doing good and you will keep getting good. That's how it works. You may be waiting for something. You may be hoping for something, praying for something in your life. I get it. Waiting for someone you love to want God and want to go to church. Waiting and hoping for a phone call from the doctor's office. Waiting and praying about medical test results. Waiting for your loved one to improve and get better and get healed and fully recovered. Waiting and hoping and praying for certain things to work out in your life. We've all been there. Galatians 6, verse 9. Let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So don't give up. Keep doing good, and you will keep getting good. Keep doing good, and you will keep getting good. Amen. Before I end this video, take a look at your life. Look at what you are reaping in your life. Look at the current reality of every part of your life. Do you like it? Are you pleased? Do you like what you're reaping? If you don't like what you're reaping, then it's time to change what you are sowing, what kind of seeds you're sowing into your life and and into life itself. Everything that you think, everything that you say, and everything that you do are like invisible seeds that you are sowing. Whatever you sow, you're gonna reap. So it may be time for you to change what you're sowing, what you're thinking, what you're saying, and what you're doing. Now, certainly there are parts of your life that have been impacted by other people. We can be victims of circumstances beyond our control and other people's decisions that impact us. But, you know, we also have to see how our decisions, our thoughts, our words, our actions shape and create our lives. We can't always blame somebody else for our circumstances. It can't always be someone else's fault. Proverbs 15, verse 15 in the Passion Translation. Everything seems to go wrong when you feel weak and depressed 
But when you choose to be cheerful, every day will bring you more and more joy and fullness. I want more and more joy and fullness. How about you? I believe you do. Since heaven is for real, since hell is for real, since there is eternal life and eternal death, then if you have never gotten saved, then right now, here and now, confess your sins. Ask Jesus to forgive you and come into your heart as your Lord and Savior. If you're already saved, which I imagine you probably are, and you know that, that you reap what you sow, ask yourself, what can you do now and this week coming up to change what you are sowing, to change your thoughts, your words, and your actions? Regarding your relationships, what could you do different, better, towards the people in your life? How can you be sowing differently, sowing better seeds into their lives? Think about that and make the change in your life. Sow good seeds, good thoughts, good words, good actions. You will reap a harvest of blessings. May not be right now or tomorrow, but you will reap a harvest of blessings. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe to this channel and hit that notifications button to be notified of each week's video. Thanks again for watching. God bless.